Mother Eve beguiled. The New Testament bears out the story of Genesis, of Mother Eve's deception, and that Father Adam yielded to disobedience through her influence. St. Paul declares that Adam was not deceived, and that he therefore had the greater responsibility. The scriptures everywhere portray that it is through Adam's disobedience that the condemnation passed upon his entire race. He was its responsible head. By one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men. The Bible account tells of Mother Eve's thirst for knowledge, and of Satan's taking advantage of this, beguiling her into disobedience. We need not suppose that the serpent spoke audibly. Rather, as we say, action speaks louder than words. It is probable that the serpent spoke in this manner. God had authorized our first parents to freely eat of all the fruits of paradise, except of the species called the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. It was forbidden for a time as a test of their loyalty. The eating of the fruit of this tree, they were forewarned, would bring upon them the curse, the death sentence. The serpent ate of various fruits and seemed especially fond of the forbidden fruit. Observation proved that the fruit did not kill the serpent, and the inference drawn by Mother Eve was that God had forbidden the use of the very best tree in Eden. Her conclusion was that God had a selfish motive in forbidding the use of that fruit, that he feared his creatures would become as wise as himself. Mother Eve did not broach these suspicions to her husband. She would eat, acquire the knowledge God was withholding, and then assist Adam to it. Adam realized the seriousness of Eve's disobedience. He thought of the long days before he had her companionship. Now he would be lonely again. In desperation, Adam determined to join Eve in the sin and its penalty. Adam's death was a slow suicide. His dying lasted 930 years.